Hi Derek, the, nice to meet you again. Nice, and to, nice to see you again, Mr. Mm -hmm. How are you? Good. And can you talk about this movie, Krull? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna sign <laughs> to, um, okay. to my friend, Mr. Krull. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. All good wishes. Derek, sign it here. Okay, of course. <laughs> you want me to put Stockholm on here or leave it? Uh, okay, oh, of course. Stockholm. Today is 28. 28. Well, yeah, yes, yes. 2011. No, 2010. <laughs> no, no, exactly. There we go. Yeah. And yeah. can you talk about? Yeah, I tell you. Yeah, I tell you about this movie. Um, this scene. I like. Uh, I like uh, intro to the this movie. Yeah, this is a movie. And this scene. This is a movie. This is a movie called yeah. Prague. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. And it was directed by an, uh, a direct English director who's now passed away called um, Peter Yates. And Peter, oh, sorry. Peter Yates was the director of the very famous Steve McQueen movie, um, which was called Bullet. Can you take Peter? Yes, yes, okay, yes, yes, okay, yes, okay. And um, I uh, went for the casting. They wanted to someone who was slim in those days uh, uh, to actually uh, fit in this costume as the Kroll, as one of the Kroll white sayers, slayers. Actually. Uh, they fitted two of us, myself and a guy called Patrick Weimar. Mm -hmm. I'm oh, sorry, uh, Dominic Weimar. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, Dominic Weimar's father was Patrick Weimar, who mm -hmm. was the uh, British actor who was in a movie called uh, Where Eagles Stare with uh, Richard Burton and, uh, and Clint Eastwood. So we, we were work, working on this movie uh, in, in, at Palmer Studios in, in England. Oh, okay, in England. Yeah, for about, uh, I would say, uh, we about three weeks on the movie. Oh, okay. And so this um, costume itself uh, was um, uh, very, very heavy, and it was summer, so we were extremely hot. Oh, okay. Um, so on, on this costume, uh, you see this is part of the costume. Obviously, I have a wear a, a mask, face mask. Yes, yes. Uh, because obviously you can see in this photograph yes, yes. a little bit here. If yeah. On yeah, you can see uh, I'm one of the white slayers because most of the slayers were uh, like dark or mm -hmm. dark grey or black. And the white slayers I think may be the more powerful of the mm -hmm. white slayers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what happens is uh, on the movie we had Liam Neeson. Okay. Uh, ah, it's from Star Wars 2. Liam Neeson, the same Liam actor. Yeah, yeah, yes, Liam I know the, na yeah, I, the name. Who's a very the Ku Gon Yin. Uh, he played the first Star Wars movie. That's right, yeah. You Master know. 2 Obi-Wan Kenobi, you know. Jin. Yes, yes, Jin, yes, yes. yes, yes. Jin, I remember like him. Fantastic. And yeah. The Dark Knight. Uh, yes, that's what yes. I think so, yeah. He, yes. He's a wonderful actor, very nice chap, very quiet. And several other actors, I can't remember. Uh, I think Ken Adams was the lead actor. We've never heard of him since, you know. Okay, okay. First role okay. And that's it. And so we, we had to do this scene, well, I had to do this scene in this. Um, they built the set very high, a bit like uh, on Indiana Jones. They built it extremely high, but ah, okay, high. okay. And so they had to kind of. The, the two of the crew had to bring us up there because it was a very heavy costume. And we really could walk, you know, only very slowly from side to side. So when we actually got on the set, they, they had this uh, arena area with a piece of kind of perspective or glass mm -hmm. between me and this tiger. Yes, yeah. They got the tiger from uh, uh, Chipperfield Circus okay. and they didn't feed it for maybe five days. <laughs> Uh, and so what they did is they had another white slayer in, in the center of the arena. Okay. Uh, but they put meat, they put real meat inside the costume. Oh, okay. And, ha and had the slayer basically standing there. Let me put this down for a minute so you can see. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the slayer is standing there yes. with a the, the yes, big yes, spike, yes. spike yes. kind of thing. Yes. And so I'm behind the, the, pla the pla perspex, which you can't obviously see on yes, the yes, yes. camera. Okay. So we're walking towards uh, this tiger, and it was actually the magician in the movie. I can't remember his name. Mm -hmm. He has to transform into he can transform into animals, you know, birds, owls, all that stuff. So he basically transforms into a tiger to protect the rest of the people, um, his fellow um, adventurers. And so what they did, they uh, they released the tiger onto the set. Now the tiger was meant to go for the slayer, which you see 
and kill you. <laughs> and I say, Derek is dead now. <laughs> That's very like, bad luck. Very bad luck, yeah. So, anyway, the slayer, so, the, so the tiger comes in. Now, rather than the tiger, now there's no way out for us because it's, it's a closed set because of the tiger. The tiger, rather than going for the fresh meat, okay. went for the even fresher meat. Ah, okay. Meat. okay. So, he, he gallops forward and the tigers are massive, the tons. He knocks the glass and the glass was only fitted with a... Uh, uh, like this glass? Like this glass, but it, had, it was fitted with, uh, uh, on the film set. They had by two guys called Chippies, okay. and they were the people carpenters and stuff. So they wedged a piece of wood uh, on the bottom of the glass. So imagine a piece of glass like this, uh, mm -hmm. or a special type of glass, hopefully. Mm -hmm. They put the wedges underneath it on the sides. Mm -hmm. But what happened as the as the um, uh, tiger went forward, he pushed the glass, and his claw came through the side. Now I was inside a costume, yeah. I, was, I, I could see like this much, yeah. like this, yeah. I went white as a ghost. Okay, you okay. went white in the slate. So uh, then, uh, so obviously in the, in the scene, as the tiger goes forward, we're supposed to turn and run back, but there's no way to go. I'm, you know. So eventually, uh, after several days of shooting this, yeah. to get it right, yeah. uh, when you see the movie, you see me going forward, and then you see a cut. The way they cut it, mm -hmm. you see the tiger kill you in the face, yeah. which is me. Yes, yes, so yes. I've been dead. I'm yes, yes, killed. yes. So that was it, really. It was a great film to work on. Um, well, with many uh, famous stuff like uh, Nosher and Dini Powell, uh, Dini Powell's uh, uh, and Nosher's or Nosher's son. It's Gary Powell, who's the, who's the first uh, the stunt coordinator on the new James Bond films, doing Bond 23 okay, okay. as we speak. He's a friend of mine. I'll maybe get, I might, maybe, possibly, try yeah. and get a part on the new Bond film, because I know Barbara Bond yeah. pretty well, so okay. I'm going to hopefully get on it. You know, and you see. know when you name to the James Bond I don't know anything yet, but I'm, I, was, I was trying a few years ago, but they, uh, because of the financial... Sorry, problem, Derek, you're off old. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, because of the financial problem in, in, with uh, Eon Productions, they okay. couldn't film it, but now hopefully it's, it's filming now. Okay, so okay. I know a few of the assistants who are actually on Facebook, right okay, okay, okay. and hopefully I'll get something through there, I, I, who knows. Um, so, yeah, it was a great movie to work on, working with Peter Yates, and uh, that's the story of Kroll, and you know, the rest is history. Mm -hmm. So, oh, that's a very popular film in Germany, I don't know okay. about it. Uh, I know that we, this film coming to Sweden have premiere in Sweden too. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. And um, uh, I dedicate this okay. interview okay. To, my, to my two, two, two children, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Christopher and Thomas. I miss you a lot and hopefully see you soon. Okay? Uh, big kisses for that. Mm. Okay. And that's it's it. Thank good. you.